Coach Andersey lost to Northern Iowa today. Uh, second, so you got two duels left. You got uh, Northern Illinois next Friday night, and then Sunday you go to Champaign to Illinois for national duels. Uh, this one comes down to heavyweight. Mimo and Cabell in a uh, competitive match. Yeah, it was. It was actually a pretty decent match. He yeah. beat, he beat Ka uh, Cabell last year. Yeah, it was a close one. He ended up beating him. And then he comes back and surging in the third period. First period and second period, look like he was scared of the guy. Didn't do anything and, you know, gets hit with stalling, which I don't know if it's stalling. And the funny thing is the ref literally made four stalling calls all match. Two of them on Miller, two of them on Heavyweight, which both those matches were one-point matches, if you really break it down. And uh, I would like to see both those matches gone into overtime because, I, you know, I, I don't know. It was, just, it was just, it was a bizarre sequence of events for everything. My thing is, it's Heavyweight. I don't know if Mimo stalled anymore any less than the other guy was doing anything. And then... You know, he gets to take down at the end of the match, and if he rides him out for the last 20 seconds, it's a, it's a time match. They go to overtime. He so. might have to beat Cabell to get to the NCAA tournament this year. If he doesn't qualify a spot, Yeah. he might have to beat him. I, I, right now, I would think that there's only two spots being brought. If I'm, if I'm, it's him and Mimo that would be no, bringing the spot. would be the... What about the Missouri guy? Yeah, him and Mellon. So it could Mellon be. might not have enough matches. I don't know the whole scenario. Yeah, so you never works. know, but right now... Mimo and Cabell are the two top heavyweights. Yeah. Mellon's had injuries, he's missed some matches, yeah. but you look at that, he's probably gonna have to go through Mellon. He's probably gonna have to either, uh, or, you know, beat Cabell. He's gonna have to beat one of those two one guys. Those guys yeah. What's he gotta do? Uh, I think what you saw in the third period, if he goes out and wrestles like that whole period, he'll give himself at least a chance, you know. It's it would be nice to see him wrestle like that for seven minutes rather than for three. When you look at Ian's match today, Jensen really took it to, to him on the mat. What do you say to him about that match? The whole match was, the whole, his whole, Ian's whole approach to that match was was bad, and it's probably as much our fault as, as coaches as it was his. We can, as a team, rely on Ian to go out and get major decisions every time he wrestles to, to do it. And at the end of the set, first period, either you let him go with like 30 seconds and doesn't get a takedown, that turns it from a 3 1 match to a 4 2 match, which right there, you know, can go no point. Um, second period, I think the bottom line here, though, is regardless of all the stuff we talk about, is that you can't uh, you can't get ridden out in the sport and expect to win. Um, he got ridden out and didn't do a thing, and the other kid didn't do a thing, and we ended up getting hit for stalling, which was very, very bizarre, I thought. My thing is, we had a base. We were trying to come up. The kid wasn't really trying to turn him. He was just riding with the... Uh, it was a, it was, his foot was hooked. His foot was hooked, and it was, it was underneath. So... Kid went with a good strategy. I think after it's like anything else. It's like same thing with the heavyweight there. That kid left me, Mimo in the match and gave Mimo a chance. He, Ian Miller gave let uh, gave, gave him a chance to win the match and he did. And then and third period, I wanted to kick him. The other coaches are saying ride him for a minute. I thought if we kick him, let's, let's wrestle this match on our feet where we're good. And he's gonna take down. You know, I, I would have rather seen him wrestle lose on our feet than lose him getting reversed. Looking at uh, you know small Mac De Palma, they're back in it. They looked like they they looked like they had legs back under them today. Well, it's been a long grind for us with our travel and everything. Um, the way our schedule works out is we've got two more matches. We got one more at home, one away, and then we're off until the the, um, the the conference tournament. So hopefully we can get our legs back under us and. A lot of us just have a confidence. I'm um, hopefully Tyler Small and and De Palma, This will give him some confidence, and we'll uh, we'll be able to do better than what we've done during the year. Will we see Martinez Miller matchups next Sunday? Yeah. Sending him out there? I can't believe you're sending him out there. Yeah. Okay. Because you know, there's a lot of gamesmanship and people trying to protect seeds and whatever. Well, at this point, I don't, you know, you lose an unseed, you lose an unranked kid. Your seed's gonna your ranks can go. You're gonna lose your some of your ranking. I don't know where it's gonna put him, but he's not. I don't. Some some polls have him third, some have him second, some have him fourth. I would think after this, it's gonna bump him up a little bit. Um, so bump him down. He's gonna fall. Like he's, he's gonna, gonna fall. fall he's, yeah. He's gonna, yeah. Um, so I would think that you know going out and wrestling guy, guy from Illinois will you know if he wrestles well and the object is to win, you know. And get him something back. I don't know. But we're, we're planning on wrestling him. <laughs> well, you know what I'm talking about. The, well, some guys avoid this guy wrestle. or that I guy. It, I think it's a great opportunity for us to see where Ian is, especially especially after this match. My thing is, you know, Ian didn't do a whole lot. Just flopping around at the end, like you know. My thing is, Jensen wrestled a good match, but I don't think Jensen is a. He's got to be a lot better guys at the national tournament. He wants to be an All-American or a national champ than, than what he did today. And if he wrestles like he did today, um, 
it's going to be it's going to be a rough tournament for him. <laughs> but I think the idea is, is that this was one match, and he just he went about some things the wrong way as far as during the match, and and uh, he needs to correct those, and we can we can move forward and, and become better. Stepan out of the funk. I'll tell you next week. <laughs> next week? I, I, he, wrestled, he wrestled a good match. He went out, took the guy down, and did, did some of the moves that he does, and he did a good job. Um, but it's like anything else. He did it one match. It doesn't mean a whole lot. It's like Ian. Ian lost one match. It's one match in the big scheme of what we've done this year. Um, let's, let's see how they both come out next week at home and how they do it at home again, and we'll go from there. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? No. All right, hey, have a good, good trip. We'll see you next Friday. Got it. And then good luck in Illinois. Thank you.